3rd of March 1942 to the hour 75 years ago was the day that war came to paradise. And Australia was under threat and Australia was fearful of what might happen. Uh, 75 years ago, the most destructive, uh, dangerous, uh, all-encompassing conflict uh, in world history came to broom. Uh, and 88 people uh, lost their lives, 22 aircraft uh, were destroyed, and it was part of 11 attacks uh, on Western Australia. Broome has got a fascinating history. Um, for going back to the original inhabitants, um, the first Australians, our sister city arrangement with Taiji and multiculturalism, and I'm sure that today's performance by St Mary's will go down in our, our history. First of all, on behalf of the government of Japan, I express my sincerest condolences for the country's lives lost within the maelstrom of war. Japan will never forget that it inflicted immeasurable damage and suffering on Broome and other parts of Australia. Uh, as we gather from across from all continents to pay homage and tribute to people who lost their lives on that fateful day of broom bombing in Second World War, it's also a time for us to re remember the values we, we together fought for. The morning of the 3rd of March 1942 was bright and sunny, just like today. And then the noise of roaring engines filled the air, and nine Japanese fighter aircrafts and a reconnaissance plane came out of the blue. On the morning of March 3, 1942, nine Japanese Zero fighters and a reconnaissance plane swooped down over Broome in the far north of Western Australia, killing approximately 88 people and destroying 22 Australian, Dutch and American aircraft. The attack was the second greatest wartime loss of life on Australian soil. The wreckages of Catalina flying boats remain on the seabed to this day, still visible on extreme low tides. 75 years later, the people of Broome, guests from around Australia and the world, marched the occasion at a solemn commemorative service to remember this important chapter in Australia's World War II history. The event was held in Broome's Bedford Memorial Park, overlooking Roebuck Bay, where the attack took place. St Mary's College students performed a moving reenactment of the raid, and a long list of dignitaries laid wreaths at Broome's War Memorial. The day then culminated with a spectacular aviation fly-past involving two Hawk fighter jets from the RAAF No. 79 Squadron. The 75th anniversary commemoration was a chance for the people of Broome to gather and stand side by side with the relatives of Dutch and American victims and survivors of the air raid to pay their respects to those who lost their lives and to hear their stories of sadness, bravery and survival. The events of that fateful day some 75 years ago still live strong in the minds of the people involved and those who have come since. And each year on the 3rd of March, the people of Broome will continue to remember all those who lost their lives to ensure that their sacrifice will not be forgotten.